Hi, I'm Karina with IDA TV, and we are talking to one of the artists for Swag Cabin. Uh, tell us a little bit more about their collaboration here and how it works. Um, so it started out just as an idea to kind of get all of the artists together. So right now we're featuring eight different artists. Um, we all have worked together in the past either at Blizzard or at uh, Zynga. Um, and we've all done cons individually and we realized that it was just much stronger to just do it as like a big collection of, uh, as a group. Um, and over here like we have uh, like Dave Allegre, also known as Scrotum Nose. Um, we have like myself that did the villains. So we have Steph Lou in the back as well as a couple of other artists. Um, yeah, and we just uh, realized that we had more passion and drive to do it together rather than individually. And yeah, what is the common theme you'd say uh, uh, between all the artists? There actually isn't a theme, really. It's just the kind of, we would come up with a series that was just personal to us, and then we would kind of run with it. And um, Ryan in the back there and uh, our partner James Cho, they would actually just group everything together and print it and get it ready for uh, all of these different cons. Uh, and then tell us a little bit more about your work as well. Uh, why is uh, Disney, I see there's a lot of villains here, why is it so special to you? And uh, tell us more. Uh, so growing up watching the, the animated movies, um, I was actually drawn more towards the villains than I was the actual heroes. And so I wanted to kind of do um, an illustration style of the villains that almost made them seem more saint-like, um, but not, you know. Uh, drew inspiration from Alphonse Mucha and kind of just took his his approach, made made these villains, and um, it first started off with just doing a piece for Maleficent, and then it got really popular. So I did the Queen, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. Have you met Angie? Huh? Have you met Angie? No. <laughs> uh, and then what about this? Uh, tell us a little bit more. This is your friend's work, yes, right? This is uh, this is my friend Dave, um, also known as Scrotum Nose on social media. Uh, and this one was actually, I can't remember which one he was playing around with first. It was either Flanye West or it was Danny Dorito. Um, but okay, so Danny Dorito's right here, Tuna Fey, Robert Brownie Jr. Yeah. Uh, has he ever heard from any of them? Uh, no, any lawsuits? No, 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 not really. But we were actually surprised at just how popular they became. And it was all just on the play of um, food and how similar it sounded to different celebrities' names. And then the parody uh, yeah. aspect of it. So which one's your favorite out of this? Uh, I would have to say it's either Tuna Fey or uh, Okra Winfrey. Yeah, those are my favorites.